Greetings again from King Blossom Guitars. We're going to do an updated video starting with this episode on uh, how to do a classic sunburst finish, how I do it. We'll start with a body that uh, has been sanded, at least sanded to the best of my knowledge. And uh, a lot of my guitars I like to do the, the back in black and the sides as well. I think it brings out the color and gives a nice contrast. The front will be amber with a red uh, sunburst halo. But I wanted to start with the black and show you one of the things I do. Now I've put two coats of black on this and the stain that I use is the Stumac uh, color tone concentrated stain dyes I guess you'd call them and uh, I like them because you can mix them with anything. You can mix them with water, you can mix them with alcohol, you can mix them with uh, lacquer thinner. I prefer water because it raises the grain, the, the grain of the wood swells up a little bit. We're going to be sanding it after it's dyed and we'll get a, a better finish. And I found that uh, a lot of times that I think I've got the guitar sanded well but you put the die on it, you start to sand it, and uh, you'll see that there's still scratches that need to be removed. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, here we have the body, and uh, I've got some 180 paper here. I like to wear gloves on this black because it... Uh, Just color your hands pretty well. So what we're doing is sanding off the dye from the flat grain. In other words, with figured grain like this, you basically have the grain is going in waves, up and down and up and down. And that's what gives you the figure. So in the places where the grain is vertical, the dye goes straight in, it's basically end grain, and that's what these dark areas are. And where the grain is flat, in other words, more of the fibers are more parallel, then it's the lighter spot. So we'll start doing this, and you see it starts to bring out the figure of the wood. I'll do a little bit of 180, then I'll go to a paper that, that's finer after I've taken the initial uh, stuff off here. This is Stumac dye, and I mix it with water because I found that with when you have acetate binding, which this is, that lacquer thinner will actually is a solvent for this so it's better to use water and as you can see it's bringing out the grain of this mahogany body which is beautiful okay as you can see I've done a kind of a basic job of this I'm going to take some uh, sanding disc. This is 60 micron. Uh, I would guess it's around 220. And I don't worry about trying to get this even because I'm actually trying to sand it down as much as I can to get the best contrast between the flat grain and the end grain. <laughs> so there as you can see we're really getting the the grain to come out now and what I'm really looking for in this first coating is scratches that I haven't got completely rid of and if you can see right there I don't know if you can but there's some lengthwise scratches that I can only see now because I've sanded it enough but these were from my initial sanding a while ago and I'm going to sand those down, get rid of them, and basically check out the whole guitar to make sure I've really gotten 
rid of the scratches. I don't know if you can see those. They're right there. There's three of them that go lengthwise. Anyway, but you can see what a fantastic piece of wood this is. We're going to sand it all down. I've done the edges, and they actually look pretty good, although I'm going to sand them again. We're going to sand this down as best we can. I'm going to dye it all again and go through the same process again to make sure I've got a really scratch-free surface before I do any, any sealing of it. Okay? Step one. Okay, I've been putting some more dye on the edge here. Just doing it very carefully not to get any on the front. Getting all this side wood here. Make sure I got everything. And since it's water-based, it's going to take a little while to dry. So here we'll do the back. And since the wood has gotten a lot smoother since my sanding, uh, it doesn't absorb it quite as darkly, which is good. The rougher it is, the more it absorbs, the smoother the less. So we're going to do this. Make sure we get everything nice and black again. cover. The other reason I like this Dumac black is I've tried different blacks and this one actually is black. Some of the others I've tried are black until you start to sand them down and then you realize they really have a blue cast to them, like they're just a very, very dark blue. So I like the fact that it's black, because that's what I want. I want it to be black, as in gray. Grayish, not bluish. So, so we'll let this dry a few hours, and we'll come back, and we'll sand it again. And hopefully that will be the the last time we need to sand it for the for the back and the scratches and everything, and then we'll turn it over and we'll do the sunburst on the front.